Hey everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome to my channel. If you are brand new, I'm so glad you stopped by. And if you are looking for art tips, uh, painting tips, crafty things, you are in the right place. So today we're gonna talk about my cards. So stick around. Hi, I'm Kelly Chassie. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell, and you'll never miss one. I also have full monthly online classes and tutorials on my website at www.kellychassiefineart.com. And I do have over 10,000 students and over 15 years of experience teaching art classes. So if you have a chance, head over to my website and check them out. Make sure to stick around to the very end of the video where I will cover my supplies that I use for my cards, the clear plastic sleeves and the envelopes. And I'll also link in the description box where you can get them. So I thought I would talk to you a little bit about cards and prints. And I know that a number of you have asked me where I have my cards and my prints done up at. And I do not print these myself. I actually have a local printer that does them for me and they do a super job. So if you are looking for someone to do your prints for you, highly recommend a local printer. Uh, keep in mind though that most of them will have expectations of doing mass productions or mass quantities in order to get you a good price. So that's something you want to keep in mind depending on how many of these you think you're going to go through. Um, I sell at a lot of retailers and I will sell, you know, thousands of pieces at a time. So it's worth it for me to have a local printer do them for me. It's a lot less expensive than trying to order something like through online or Fine Art America, um, any of those websites, which are great. When I first started out, I, I, I use them. If you're interested in checking out uh, how to work with Fine Art America, I do have a video. You can check it out here. A lot more expensive. But uh, if you don't want to do that investment initially, it's a great starting point. Plus, you can also just uh, do them individually or send people to the website to have them printed off. Again, you don't make as much from it. So if you're looking to really uh, hone in on your income from your sales, this might be a little bit different than if uh, you just want to do it before, you know, 25 Christmas cards that you're going to be doing for the year. Another place to do this is at like a Staples or Home Depot, uh, any home office supply store you can actually take your raw image or if you happen to work in Photoshop, which is what I had my husband do for me. I did not do this, uh, but he scaled my card size down for me in Photoshop on paper. So I could actually take these in and have these printed off uh, from a local company or local um, staples. So that's something else you want to think about. So, you know, there's a cost involved with it. Um, depending on what direction you're going. So I just wanted to show you, uh, I, I said it before, we scaled this all down. So this is a picture of Owl's Head Lighthouse here in Maine. And my original painting was a lot larger than this. So we shrunk it down to fit a, this happens to be a five by seven card. And then I don't put anything in the middles of them. So I figured uh, folks can fill in their own information. So they're all blank cards that I do. And then on the back here, um, so what I do is I name each individual painting or card. So this one is called Owl's Head. And then the, the line down below it, I have by main artist Kelly Chassie. I have my Gmail account in there. So if anybody wants to get a hold of me, if they happen to get this card, they love it. They want a print of it. They want to know if the original is available still, uh, they can email me. So my email address is on there as well as kellychassiefineart.com for my website. So folks can go to my website, they can see that I have online classes on there, they can take online classes. Um, it also has links to uh, Udemy, Skillshare, um, and it, you can email me directly from there as well. So having everything in place is a great place to be. Um, and then on the very bottom here, I have KC, which is for Kelly Chassie. 160, which is the number of this particular card. So every print that I create, I number. And then you'll see I have a C after that, and that stands for card. So I have a different code for different size prints. So uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that my prints are basically all done in standard sizes. Makes it super easy if you are, first of all, 
trying to sell your work and you don't want to pay a whole lot of money for matting and framing and for your customers, a standard size is going to be easier for them to find a standard size frame at any local store. So if you've ever been to a professional frame shop, you know that it can get very expensive. So, um, so anyway, I have a C standing for cards and then I have a different size. I have an M for my mediums, which are my eight or five by sevens and medium eight by 10. And then I have my large, which are 11 by 14. And then I offer extra large, which is a matting 16 by 20. So uh, it's really easy for me to place my order through my um, printer because he knows exactly if I say I need to order 1,000 cards of KC160C, he knows that that's going to be this card. And then if I want to order them in the next size up, I have the M, I have the L, I have the XL. So uh, very easy and I'll share. That is a super fun way to do it. Again, it's just a really easy way for you to maintain your inventory, know what you have, um, really easy to place your orders um, if you have a local company that's doing it. And just a way for you to reference it if you have customers that want a particular print, it's um, really easy to flip that over, look at the back and you know, give me the number on the bottom of that and you know you have the correct one because I have more than one owl's head lighthouse painting. So hopefully that was helpful. I wanted to show you what I use for my cards and I'll have all the links and stuff for you in there, but uh, I use envelopes that are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. They are white and they have a little flap on them. And they're from a company called Desktop Publishing, but I will have the Amazon links for you. They're actually a little bit less expensive and they're free shipping if you have Prime. So they come in bulks of a thousand. And you can see here, I've got some cards that are already set up in here, but the envelopes themselves look like this. They're a 70 pound weight, so they're you know, in a good, a good, good size. They're not too heavy, not too light. They do have the little um, lick and stick here, and that is what I use. So this is, I have the cards in here, let's see here, we've got a winter one coming up. So this is one of my cards that I had made, but these will fit perfectly in these envelopes. And these are, uh, what did they say they were, I think they're a, yeah, A7 is what they fit, A7 envelope. So that fits perfectly in, in there. So that's what I use. And then I have these little plastic sleeves. So these are, again, from desktop, and they are clear plastic. There's 100 in a package. And again, it fits size A7, which is 7 and 7 16th by 5 and a quarter inch. And again, I'll have the links for these again in the description box below. I also wanted to mention I do have a YouTube video that talks about my matting and my packaging of my art print. So you can check that out over here. So this is what it looks like. It has a little tab here that you can pull off. So what I do when I package mine, you saw how I had them in the box here earlier. So I will actually put the envelope inside like this so they can still see my backing on here and then face down and those will slide right in and then that is self self-adhesive so there you have it and now they're all protected so that you don't have to worry if um, everybody picks them up and handles them um, if you have them in stores they stay protected a lot longer they don't tend to bend or have anybody's uh, if they got little pizza fingers or something and they're picking them up. You're not going to get any staining on there. They're nice and protected. So um, those are the items that I use for my cards. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to click that like and share button and check out my other videos up here. I just did a video last week on my top five tips for your first craft show. So check that out. And don't forget, I'd love to have you in some of my online classes. Feel free to check those out on my website. 
and I'm thinking of doing a master's class. More information is going to be coming out, so stay tuned on YouTube and on my email newsletter list for more information coming soon. Before we go, I wanted to give a shout out to one of my students, Aurora. She did this gorgeous job on her crystal class. So thanks for sharing. And I hope to see some more shares on my Instagram page for any classes that you take. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.